Hi everyone, welcome back to Technic Force Learning. In this video, we're going to talk about Web 3.0's challenges, advantages, and disadvantages. Let's get started. The next challenge for the web is to understand the data it presents. And here comes the idea of the semantic web. It is a technology to share, reuse, find, and combine information by tagging and categorizing content. This extension of the actual web makes it possible to exchange data in a common format and uses a specific language to record how some of the data relates to real-life objects. All this data relating to real-life objects will then be linking to databases. These databases will be then connected to other databases that are containing data about the same real-life object. For example, the word apple can be related to the fruit itself, or the tech corporation that created an iPhone. This semantic technology can be combined with artificial intelligence, more precisely with natural language processing, or NLP, to make computers able to understand humans. Semantic technology is using artificial intelligence and machine learning to analyze text and associate meaning to words. In the process, the algorithm identifies specific elements of the text and connects them with a grammatical and logical role. This process will help search engines to understand humans better and provide users with much more relevant and faster results when it comes to searches. As semantic web technologies and artificial intelligence will be integrated with search engines, users will get more relevant search results, even if they use long-tail search queries. Let's look at some of the biggest challenges of Web 3.0 implementation. Number 1. Vastness the internet is huge. It contains billions of pages, and the Snowman CT medical terminology ontology alone includes 370,000 class names. An existing technology has not yet been able to eliminate all semantically duplicated terms. Any reasoning system which can read all this data and understand its functionality will have to be able to deal with the vast amounts of data. Number 2. Vagueness User queries are not really specific and can be extremely vague at the best of times. Fuzzy logic is used to deal with vagueness. Number 3. Uncertainty The internet deals with scores of uncertain values. For example, a patient might present a set of symptoms that correspond to many different distinct diagnoses, each with a different probability. Probabilistic reasoning techniques are generally employed to address uncertainty. Number 4. Inconsistency. Inconsistent data can lead to logical contradiction and unpredictive analysis. Number 5. Deceit. While AI can help in filtering data, what if all the data provided is intentionally wrong and misleading? Cryptography techniques are currently utilized to stop this problem. Next, let's talk about the advantages of Web 3.0. Number 1. Increase information linking. Semantic Web will help in the connectivity of online data. Number 2. Efficient Searching 3. Better Marketing 4. More Efficient Web Browsing 5. Effective Communication and 6. Change Human Interaction But lastly, let's talk about the disadvantages of Web 3.0. First, Less advanced devices will not be able to handle Web 3.0, and Web 1.0 websites will seem that much more obsolete. And lastly, it can be very complicated for newcomers to understand. We are on the verge of real internet revolution. While it is true that there are several challenges to Web 3.0 implementation, the sheer innovation that it can bring to our lives is truly mind-boggling. While there is a lot of hype, we still need some practical use cases of Web 3.0 to truly understand the positive changes it can bring to our lives. And there you have it, Web 3.0's challenges, advantages, and disadvantages. I hope you find this video helpful. And before this video ends, did you know that your business needs more high-quality traffic? Unlock a fresh and high-quality traffic source that 99% of your competition hasn't exploited. And that is Vidscribe AI. 
by Technic Force. Transcribe, translate, and redub your videos in local languages with Vidscribe AI. It's the easiest organic traffic boost you'll ever get this year with three easy steps. Step one, feed it. Feed Vidscribe AI videos from your YouTube or your PC. Step two, upload it. Upload your converted videos. And step three, rip it. Watch the traffic flow in from fresh sources. So what are you waiting for? Try Vidscribe AI right now. Go to vidscribe.in. And that is it for today's video. Thank you for watching and see you on the next one.